10 Sphinx Discoveries That Scare Archaeologists The Great Sphinx of Gaza has become a symbol of the ancient Egyptian civilization, and more and more discoveries are being made about the iconic structure. Here are 10 Sphinx Discoveries That Scare Archaeologists. Number 10. How It Was Made Thousands of years ago, although the exact date is unknown, the construction of the Great Sphinx of Giza was commissioned by the ruler of Egypt at the time, possibly King Khafre, a pharaoh of the 4th Egyptian dynasty. He ruled around 4,500 years ago, but it's also theorized that the Sphinx was made by his older brother, Rejedef. Regardless, no one knows exactly when the structure was made, but it would have had to have used up a large chunk of the Egyptian economy, as a structure of this scale wouldn't be built for thousands of years later. Unlike many other structures in the area, it wasn't built brick by brick, but rather carved from a single massive chunk of limestone that was exposed after workers dug the site. The workers who built the Sphinx, although slaves, were found by archaeologists to be very well fed, often dining on the most expensive food available, including beef that would be equivalent to a prime grade today. Number 9. How Its Nose Went Missing one of the most famous questions about the Great Sphinx is, how did its nose go missing? Like many other questions about the Sphinx, this one remains largely unanswered, which is why archaeologists are so terrified of this structure. One of the most popular theories about its missing nose is that Napoleon's army during the French campaign in Egypt had accidentally shot a cannon into the Sphinx's face when trying to uncover it, leading to its nose being damaged but most archaeologists no longer believe that theory. It's also theorized by some that when Arab armies had conquered Egypt, the rulers of the Giza region had the nose blown off as a condemnation of polytheism and idolatry. But even that theory is unlikely and probably false. It can also just be natural wear and tear. No one knows exactly why, but archaeologists just can't wait to get to the bottom of it. Number 8. It may be way older than we think As we've mentioned before, the Great Sphinx was largely thought to have been commissioned by King Khafre of the 4th Dynasty, or his brother, which would put the date of the structure at around 4,500 years. At 4,500 years old, this would be the oldest statue that we know of. However, evidence points towards the structure being even older, even twice as old. There is actually no evidence or inscription that links the structure to Khafre. Any sort of evidence that does exist seemed to be placed there after the structure had been built for a long time. Furthermore, the Sphinx has shown signs of water erosion due to excessive continuous rainfall. While today, and for thousands of years, the location of the Sphinx is within a hot desert with zero chance of continuous prolonged rainfall. About 10,000 years ago, it was completely different, with green valleys and lots of rainfall. If this theory is true, it would mean everything we know about ancient Egypt might just be the tip of the iceberg, as the entire civilization can only be dated back around 5,000 years. Number 7. It was buried for thousands of years Regardless of whether it was built 4,000 or 10,000 years ago, for a long time, the modern world either forgot the Sphinx existed or didn't even know where it was. The now iconic structure was finally rediscovered during Napoleon's French campaign in Egypt from 1798 to 1801. The French campaign saw the rediscovery of many ancient Egyptian artifacts that were thought to have been lost to harsh conditions of the Egyptian desert for thousands of years, including the Sphinx which was completely buried in the sand. The rediscovery of the Sphinx and other Egyptian artifacts ushered an era of Egyptomania back in Europe, when there was suddenly a craze for all things related to Egypt and the continent, with many different powers being involved in excavations of the region, and the local populations being very interested in finding out more about the history of the ancient civilization. Egyptian themes became a popular style in Europe, and the wealthy would pay big bucks to buy priceless artifacts during that era which is why so much of Egypt's history is now located within museums across Europe rather than in Egypt. Number 6. It may have been painted in the past Since it was undiscovered for so long and was only revealed to us from heavy restoration from a time where excavation technology and methods weren't nearly as advanced as they are today, 
the Sphinx obviously suffered a great deal of damage from its excavation. The Great Sphinx is thought to have looked quite different from its present facade in the past. It was almost certainly much more detailed, and the details were damaged. But one of the most significant changes would have to be the possibility of the Sphinx actually being painted when it was initially built. Evidence suggests that the Sphinx had a red coat of paint around the entire structure. Traces of that paint can still be found in the air of the pyramid complex, as well as on the ear of the Sphinx itself. There may have been other colors as well, and it would have likely been in similar bright colors that we see in so much Egyptian art from the times of the ancient civilization. Number 5. There is a basement under the Sphinx Many ancient Egyptian structures often had meticulous puzzles that were either symbolic in a way or carried treasure that belonged to the ruling dynasties of the time. Many of these secret puzzles would later be deciphered and rediscovered by Western and modern Egyptian archaeologists at a snail's pace, due to the potential damage their excavation can cause, as they were usually hidden in a manner where it would be extremely difficult to find it in the first place. The Great Sphinx has quite a few basement openings, such as the one located on the head of the Sphinx, and one located right in the middle of the back of the structure, with a metal door at its entrance and no one knows exactly where it might lead to as the area is still being researched. Number 4. It Used to Have a Beard We all know by now that the iconic structure lost a lot of its detail during the massive excavation projects that have been carried out on the Sphinx for the past few hundred years. While the lack of paint may have been a relatively insignificant omission from the structure, one of the missing pieces of the Great Sphinx is actually its missing chin or beard. The beard was eventually discovered mostly intact by archaeologists, but later had to be shaved off due to ongoing erosion and damage. The remnants of this beard can now be found within the British Museum. Archaeologists have made multiple depictions of what the face of the Sphinx might have actually looked like had it not suffered from so much damage throughout its numerous excavations until 1920. Number 3. Secret Passageways After hearing about the mysterious basements of the Sphinx as well as the discoveries of many different secret passageways under other major Egyptian structures, many Egypt-related historians have all but concluded that there were almost definitely secret passageways located under the Sphinx that may have led to other pyramids in the complex. We may never know the full extent of these secret passageways as laws and preservation prevent us from fully exploring them. But it's likely that they may even lead to some places that we've never even heard of until now, including places that may contain priceless treasures and art from that era, which can give us a better understanding of the age of the Sphinx as well. Number 2. It may not even be from this world. You can't talk about the Sphinx without talking about the numerous extraterrestrial theories that people have about the iconic structure. Simply because the structure is so old and because its construction and history are clouded by so much mystery, many have pointed to factors outside our world itself for the construction of this strange structure. Considering the technology to construct such a large-scale structure wouldn't be available for a few thousand years after the construction of the Great Pyramids and the Sphinx, it's not all too unlikely that the local rulers may have taken some help from our friends from across the galaxies. Number 1. A New Sphinx And finally, the Great Sphinx might not even be all that rare. There have been numerous sphinxes found across different parts of the ancient Egyptian civilization, such as a miniature 11-inch version that was recently found in the Egyptian city of Aswan in 2018. The Great Sphinx, while certainly the largest and most imposing of its sibling structures, may not even be the oldest sphinx that we know of, as there is evidence of sphinx-like structures that have unfortunately been lost to time that are confirmed to have features that date them as older than the Great Sphinx of Giza. That's a wrap for this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.